it's Allison. If she gets real. And welcome to my channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you get notified. I didn't get to sleep last night. That's what this looks like. Um, okay. So, I keep seeing all kinds of... seeing all kinds of um, back and forth on the job boards about autistic employees and Asperger's syndrome and people putting their opinions everywhere. And I have a definite opinion on this. When I ran one, two, three, four, four different restaurants, 87 employees, I did that for quite a few years, loved that job thing I loved most about that job was the people. The thing I liked least about that job was the people. Um, and I can honestly say and tell you the best employee I had if you went across the board from punctuality standards integrity kindness work ethic, overall human being. I mean, if you just took them all and were looking for the perfect employee for a perfect position, it would be my autistic employee. Hands down, no question. Never late. Walked to work every day. Walked home every day. Never stole. Always did what was right. Always came to me with questions. <coughs> concerns, knew his role, always willing to go above and beyond to the extreme, um, never a problem, uh, just a joy to have in the workplace. He made me want to be a better employee, he made me want to be a better person, um, I mean there's just not enough things to say about him. And um, he was brought to me by a friend, said, hey, give him a shot, first job. And saw him at the bank a couple days ago, got a big hug. And I mean, it's just, and even when I hired him, I hired him for a position. He, since taking that position and excelling at that position, <laughs> excelling, like to the extent like I was, giving him a raise and he was like, oh, Miss Allison, I just, I'm good. And oh, Lord, the humility, the integrity, just across the board. But he um, has excelled at other positions. You know, he's gone on to into different areas of the, the company and done different jobs, held multiple jobs, held jobs that he wasn't hired for. You know, there's just, it's not even a question. It's not negotiable all the way around best employee I've ever had since then before then ever um that company would be a million dollar company if there were 20 of him no if and or but about it he was capable of learning anything and I understand autism I have a family member with Asperger's and I think that each case is different but I think that with as much education at our fingertips as much education as we have at our fingertips today and as outgoing and as intermingled as the autistic and Asperger's community is all through the world in the United States, there's absolutely zero reason to not only hire autistic people, but to learn their way. You know, it, it was a process of sitting down what, you know, and getting him out of his shell and making him comfortable and or allowing him to get comfortable in his own time and finding out what worked for him, what didn't, where his tics were, what bothered him, what he needed. You know, he needed certain things to be able to maintain his daily life. And those things were small in comparison to the gift that he gave me and everybody that worked around him on a daily basis. So I think that it's absolutely no different than any other employee I've ever hired in this sense that they all cost about the same to bring in 
it's expensive to hire an employee they don't understand but to bring them in to go through the backgrounds to get through the checks to do this to do that to and put them in the payroll system and the insurance I mean it's just all the way around it's expensive I think at one point it was like an average of three thousand dollars per new hire and um, but it wasn't like your 20 year old who didn't know what they wanted or your 20 year old who wasn't sure how he felt or hurting somebody's feelings or walking on eggshells. It was a very sit down. I need to get to know you. What do you need from me? How can I make your day, your job, this better for you? Because ultimately the more comfortable he was, the more um, familiar he felt to the surroundings, the more his ex excellent work was even better. So it wasn't unlike and sometimes easier than any of my other employees. You know, he was always up to the task. 99% of the time jumped on it before even asked. And when it came to, you know, he was the only employee I never had to wonder if he was going to show up. Only one out of 87. Never wondered. If he wasn't there, something was wrong. And he, I mean, he would walk to work in the rain. I would be on my way to work and he would be standing in the corner in the pouring rain. And I would be like, get in the car, you know? Um, it never crossed his mind to not come to work. Like <sighs> hiring and putting the effort and time into, and I had 87 other employees on autistic or Asperger's, anywhere on the spectrum, functioning in society, adult is a no brainer. It will not only give you a loyal, dedicated, full of integrity, amazing human being on your staff, but if your other people don't at some point want to better themselves because of the whole aura that he brings or she brings to the table, then you'd get, in my opinion, those are not people you would want to keep. I never had an issue and I believe that he made the staff better than they ever would have been without him. He's still there. I'm not. <laughs> um, but... So I think if you're on the fence, if you're in HR, if you're, if you have Asperger's or you have autism, reach out or get somebody to work with you. You know, I know there's a lot of programs out there, but there is no job that is, in my opinion, not attainable. And it's just a matter of finding the right company that will invest and take the time because I'm sure you know, and I know having worked with quite a few um, on the spectrum, it's the best employee I've ever had. And I, I would pick an autistic Asperger's employee <coughs> over a regular employee any day of the week. So, you know, if you're looking and you're afraid, there's more people out there like me that are willing and open and ready to learn, to educate themselves and to dive in, I'm sure. And um, don't stop looking. You can do anything you want to do. It's just a matter of finding the right person. And I believe in God. And I believe that if it's a job you're meant to be at, the right person, you know, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear, vice versa. I believe that um, nothing is unattainable. And if it's a position meant for you, then the way will unfold. You know, somebody will be there that will be your guide to get you going. It's, you know, it's, it's a no-brainer. So that's my two cents. I've been seeing it go back and forth on the boards, and I've been seeing people get defensive and... You know, on both sides, I've been seeing some people, you know, that are on the spectrum saying, you know, they're having a hard time getting hired. I can understand that. People are afraid of things they are ignorant to. You know, people who don't understand something, fear it, don't like it. They don't like change and they don't want to learn. They don't want to look stupid. So they say no at the, which they shouldn't, by the way, they say no at the expense of other people. So... Um, keep looking till you find somebody or call somebody if, if you're told absolutely not and I don't know how all that works but I'm just saying if it's something in your heart that you believe you're meant to do and I believe that God will put the right person there for you and if um, if I can help in any way let me know you know I'll be more than happy to I can help with resumes I can help with applications I can even help with calls you know like maybe get somebody you know, like I said, it's fear and it's ignorance. People who are hiring hear that and see that and they don't have any knowledge on the subject and they instantly go back to some vision or something they have in their head 
preconceived notion of what Asperger's is or what autism is or what being on the spectrum is. And so you're not being not hired because you're not capable. You're not being hired because the person who's doing the hiring is ignorant. Now, I'm sure there are jobs out there that for certain individuals, just like for me, aren't the right fit or the right job or safe or here or there. But, you know, I don't know. Everybody's hiring and everybody should have a chance to work, especially somebody who wants to work, especially now. Oh, that makes me crazy. So call me if I can help. Reach out, message me. Um, I'll put my email in the link. I'll put my link to my email in the details of the message. But, you know, and if you're somebody who's hiring and you've never hired an autistic Asperger's or somebody on the spectrum and you have, call me if you have questions. I mean, I have, there's ways to handle the situation. There's tips and tricks. HR has a program. I mean, there is, but if you're looking for a solid, dependable, full of integrity, hardworking, never, I mean, dependable employee and you're hurting, you can't go wrong with somebody who you bring in that's got Asperger's that is able to do the job. I can promise you that. Take a little bit of tiny bit of time, more time up front. It'll pay off in the end. No questions. No 10 times. So anyway, that's all I want to jump on here and share this. I haven't slept all night and I look like this. So it is what it is. She gets real. <laughs>